Would you be able to tell me a little bit about your trading history? My trading history, I've been trading for two, I've been trading for two to three years now. But the major downside I've found in my field is uh, the strategies I'm using that they are not working. They are not working. Okay. They are not, they are, they are, yeah. So how so long... that's, the, that's the only problem I, I'm having. Uh, okay, that's a really good problem to have then, because it's a very, very easy fix. Um, <clears throat> so have you back tested these strategies? Yes. And did they yeah, work then? Because, yeah, because I started with I've I've gone through two mentors now. One is Dr. Barry. I don't know if you know about him, Dr. Mm -hmm. Barry. Dr. Barry Burns. <clears throat> no, I don't. No. Hey, Dr. Barry Burns and another one is Nick. Uh, okay. It's Nick. Yeah, the one for transparent. Tra uh, Dr. Barry, the one, Dr. Barry is for I mean, it, it doesn't trade. really matter too much, you know, where, where okay. you got it from or what strategy you're trading. Have you actually okay. back tested these yourself? Yes. Okay. I've gone through tough times, but they they are not going. Okay, they look good. You do a lot of analysis, but at the end of the day, like they 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 are not consistent. That's the problem. So when you back tested them, were they <sighs> profitable then? Yeah, actually, on that point, uh, many strategies I've been getting. When you back test, they they look good, they look profitable. But in live trading, being the the story changes. So there's no difference. So when uh, like, no. it, let's say you were back testing from October first, twenty twenty one, until. I don't know, January 1st, 2022. And in that time frame, you had a profitable strategy. Now, there that was live, right? That was live for people that were trading in that time. So there's no difference between, you know, the, the back-tested history, because it used to be live at one point, right? Just like it's live right now. There's going to be a trader that, in a year's time, we'll be back testing. Um, I don't know the first of Jan twenty twenty two until the first of Jan twenty twenty three, and it will be profitable yeah. for his strategy. But for us right now, trading it's live. Do you, do you see what I'm trying to say? So yeah, there's no yeah, difference yeah. between your back tested history and it being profitable, and now unless the market has changed. Mm. Now, I don't know what you're trading. I don't know the strategy you're trading. I don't know what assets you're trading. Um, mm -hmm. But if the market has changed, which is quite unlikely, but if it has, then you know you can go into a different strategy that is profitable in um, that new trading environment. Um, and if it's still not profitable, it's not the strategy. Um, I think a lot of traders jump to the it's the strategy, not me, because that's an easy thing to do. And it's also quite fun to go from strategy to strategy. Um, mm. <clears throat> but I think, you know, if if you've been trading for three years um, and you've back tested like multiple strategies and they've worked in the back testing, but they're not working when you're trading them live, I don't think it's the strategies. Really, I don't know it's okay, but according to my experience, I, I thought maybe it's the, the the problem is the strategy. So it's okay. Me, I'm, me, I'm listening. I'm here to learn, so I have to unlearn. Yeah, I mean, it's tough, right? Because you have to kind of come to the realization that I'm not saying this is you, by the way, but. For me, anyway, this was the case that it's me. I'm the problem, not the strategy. Um, you know, there's there's millions of prof profitable strategies out there, 
Um, but it's me that can mess it up, right? Um, you can have a profitable strategy, but if the trader is no good, then it's not a profitable strategy anymore. And whenever we backtest, there's no emotion. You're just following the process. Every single trade, you're following the exactly the same process. And you don't care whether it wins or loses because it's not real. And you're just, you know, you're just testing whether it works or not. Whereas when you actually trade, you care about whether it wins or loses. You care about losing money. Um, you want it to win because it's like you you put everything on the line to, for that thing to work and for this strategy to make money. And sometimes when it doesn't make money, you then switch to a different strategy and backtest that. It works. Um, everything's good. There's no emotions. And then when you go and trade live, it's a completely different kind of reality to trading. And the emotions kick in and, and psychology kicks in and things change which is completely normal, right? A lot of traders have that problem of emotional trading. I have it as well. Like if I don't um, have exact set rules, I overtrade all the time and my psychology goes completely out the window and I will just completely destroy my account by overtrading. Um, and over the years, I've found that I need a very, 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 mechanical strategy to be profitable and that doesn't mean that other strategies aren't profitable because there's there's other traders trading strategies other than the one that i'm trading and making money so it's not the strategy that's not profitable it's me and you need to figure out what is best for you what is the best strategy for your psychology and how your psychology fits in with the strategy and the market conditions that you're kind of trading. Um, it could be a good idea to go on to a different asset class. So for me, I was trading Forex for four years and not really making much money at all. I'd have some days where I made loads, some days where I lost loads, but ultimately I wasn't profitable for like a long period of time. And I switched over to the S&P and I was profitable. And recently, like pretty much since January 1st, we've had this massive kind of bearish market for the last two and a half months. And my, my trading has been horrible. It's not been profitable like at all um, because the strategy that I was trading was meant for a bullish market that trends really well. And I've been taking buys in a bearish market that has been losing money. And recently, I've had to adapt my strategy to fit with a bearish market that could turn at any moment and then be bullish again. It's impossible for me to know, but I've had to adapt my trading to fit that market. So I think if you haven't been profitable, maybe try trading something else, maybe try trading a different asset, so not a different strategy, but a different asset class, and try and figure something out that way, and it might work better for your psychology and your kind of way of trading. So have you tried doing that, or have you stuck with the same asset class? Yes, I tried to do that, because I tried indices, no, the one for the reef. Hmm. Yeah, boom, boom and crash. I still was the same story. So when I watched your video, and still you are talking about indices, was it US 30? So I said, hey, I have to attend this class. <laughs> <laughs> so, so have you traded Forex before? No, I tried. I tried, but you know like in a lazy way because if you don't have any any working strategy you are like ah, now everything is just like that everything will be the same because even even him himself because uh in his mentorship 
like we do both, we trade the strategy, and him, he, him himself sends us signals, but everything was not working. So if the mentor himself sees that the strategy is not working, now what about with the students? So okay. that's why um, that's how I lose hope, and I'm just. I think what you, looking. yeah, I think you need to be independent. Um, there's no easy way to to trade. Um, there's no shortcut. You can't just follow someone and be profitable. Um, you certainly can't be in signals groups and be profitable. Um, so if I were you, I know this is probably not, you're probably not going to want to do this, but I would leave that group, the signals group, um, and just figure it out yourself, to be honest with you. Um, no. Point of correction, it's not a signal group, you no, know, like they do both. Like, yeah, I don't you know, it's I, just market updates because the, is the mentor, uh, like he teaches us the strategy at the same time every day. Like, yeah, I know, but if, so life. do you know the strategy? Yes, I know the strategy, and I can send you everything and you look through if you have time, by the way. I don't know, but I, I don't, I I don't need the strategy. But um, yeah. if you know the strategy, you don't need to be in the group anymore, right? Because you know the strategy. Yeah. So if you know the strategy, there's no need to be in the group and to get updates every day because you know how to trade it. Yeah. Do you see what I'm trying to say? Yeah, yeah. No, it's just part of like a part of the newbies who have just joined. Yeah, just it just part of the package that he makes sure that every day gives us updates to the newbies who who are just just started to use the strategy. But but me, that's I not know, you, and, right? That's not you. Yeah, you know the strategy. Yeah, me I know. So you don't need to be but, in that group. Yeah. But what I was saying is that him, also him, he knows that the, the strategy doesn't, is, is not a profitable strategy because he sees the results we are getting him and also him is getting. So right. the problem is the strategy. Yeah, it's not we, but the strategy itself. So are you actually saying that it's not profitable because he's saying it's not profitable? Or are you saying it's not profitable because you've been trading it and it's not profitable? Because that's a big, yeah. big difference. Like, I think, you, I, in my opinion, I would cut yeah. it off right now. I would trade that strategy. I would adapt it to myself because it's not adapted to you. You're just trading some strategy. You need to actually make it personalized to you and then yeah. just backtest it and then trade it. Like, it's, it, you, yeah. It's going to sound harsh, but you just have to cut it off and go by yourself. And, and um, it, there's an easy road where you can be in a group and you get updates every day from this guy and he'll, he'll tell you when to enter, he'll tell you when to get out, he'll tell you blah, 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 blah. It's all easy. Mm. But you're never, ever, ever going to be a profitable trader for the long term being in a group like that because you're dependent on someone else and when you're dependent on other people it's pointless right you have to be able to trade by yourself because if he disappears for some reason um let's just say yeah he's done with trading he's got a different business that he's doing or he just doesn't want to be sharing it anymore what are you going to do you're now stuck you've got no one to feed you those trades and now you're you're done. That's your trading kind of income just stopped instantly because someone else decided that it would stop. So you have to be dependent on by yourself and figure out how to trade by yourself. Now, I'm not saying you can't have a mentor because I think everyone should have a mentor, but I don't think everyone should have someone that feeds them trades. Um, okay. I see your point, but okay, yes, he sends signals only to newbies, but the point is why I pointed it out was to, to show you that uh, he him is himself 
both of us we are doing the same thing but at the end of the day all of us we are losing you get yeah, so but you that's have, why you I, have I, losing streaks in trading that's normal i know it but it's consistent you know how, how long has it been how long has it been not a profitable um strategy for, for two years two years for two year. yeah for two years now because i've been i've been under his mentorship for two years you've been trading uh, the also, same strategy for two years and it's been losing yeah it's not working you to get a night a 80 percent that's the whole year so if you sum up the losses you can't make it oh i am i'm shocked i am shocked yeah. oh my god i can't believe yeah. that someone would be trading a strategy for two years exactly the same and losing for two years straight that's crazy i've never heard of that before i've never i've never heard of that before i mean that shows real discipline like insane discipline to 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 do that i mean that's crazy i wow i'm shocked i mean i think i definitely think you don't need to work on your discipline then at all because you're clearly very very disciplined um yeah to trade yeah, something that's losing consistently for two years um wow okay i think yeah just find the new strategy go onto youtube search whatever asset you're trading followed by trading strategy hit search click on whichever one you want to click on and just follow that instead yeah um, so that's that's why even I, I came in because i had to talk to you and see because you, you are you talked about the 30 you 30 you 30 so yeah. i was like i have to attend and at least maybe this one will work for me you get well i mean i think yeah i i if if it's been losing for two years and it's definitely the strategy um but i think yeah just find a different strategy there's millions of them on youtube and google um just pick one doesn't really matter which one um and yeah make it your own make it personalized to you back test it and you're done that's it okay does that sound good okay yeah yeah it sounds good do you need any more help because you don't sound certain <laughs> what do you have like more questions like what yeah yeah no my questions are all there because i'm on my way looking for a working story so yeah okay i mean it's yes. i think don't over complicate it right most strategies are profitable most are profitable mm. um just yeah um go on to youtube find a strategy back test it don't back test it you know for 15 years just back test like a year or two because the market will change um obviously depending on what you're trading but um yeah back test it and then um yeah just just trade it on a demo see if it works for you in live conditions and then if it works then obviously you can do whatever you want after that okay yeah okay yeah yeah okay so do that this week um shouldn't take you more than a week to do that and then we book another call with me next week and we can discuss the progress that you've done okay i'll okay. try and keep you accountable okay so like for you do you have any you can recommend me to um yeah I can send you I can send you that. It's not like a signals group. I'm not going to be sending you any trades. No. Um just any strategy so that I can follow up and and trade and see. If you if you want a strategy, honestly, just go onto YouTube and just search trading strategy. Like there's nothing special about my strategy. It's 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 just the strategy, right? It there's 
it's yeah <laughs> um yeah but i mean i can invite you to the private community um and yeah i put out like monthly fundamental reports on that and i kind of do like a a video every month where i'll talk about something that i've learned or something i think could help everyone but okay it's not a course it's not a secret strategy i do have a strategy that i have shown but it's not like a magic strategy that's going to turn you into a billionaire next week but um you can follow that if you want to um yeah okay it's not going to solve any issues by the way it's just a little private group that i have for traders mm. that want to get better um and that that's about it really um i think honestly you could just go onto youtube search any kind of strategy back test it demo it if it works trade it there's not really okay. much more to it um yeah does that does that help yeah thank you very much for for your time on our board jacob cool well thank you very much yeah yeah, yeah. book a call next week um okay and um yeah i will kind of try and keep you accountable um with how things are going with your trading but um yeah have a great day thank you very much for booking okay. the call Oh, thank and, you um, very much. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah.